Hey, welcome back to Baird Square. In this video, we're going to be talking about vertical and horizontal lines. What do they mean? Coming up. So let's start off by talking about vertical lines. If you look on the grid, this red line here represents a vertical line. All vertical lines have equations of the form x equals a. The gradient of a vertical line is undefined. For all points on a vertical line, the x coordinate is constant regardless of the value of the y coordinate. So, like I mentioned before, the red line represents a vertical line. So, if I fill the values on my x axis, you can see that this line passes through where x is equal to minus 2. Irrespective of what the y value is, the line is all is going to remain on the point where x equals minus 2. So let's move on to horizontal lines. We can see that all horizontal lines have the equation of the form y equals c. c could represent any constant, it could be any value, as long as the horizontal line has the equation y equals something. The gradient of the horizontal line is 0. For all points on a horizontal line, the y coordinate is constant regardless of the value of the x coordinate. So if we take this horizontal line here, we can see that it cuts the y axis at a point where y equals 5. So regardless of the x coordinate, the line always passes through y equals 5. So here's another example. We have a horizontal line and it passes through the point where y is equal to negative 2. So again, regardless of whatever the x coordinate is, y always passes through negative 2. Let's move on to an example where we draw the line of a graph of the following equations. So first thing first, I'm going to draw my Cartesian plane. So for part A, I'm going to draw x equals to 7. That's this line here. So if I take a random point here, 7, 4, you can see that the x coordinate is 7. If I take another random point on the line here, you, again, you can see it's 7, comma, minus 3. So the x value is always constant, regardless of whatever the y value is. So this is classified as x equals 7. For part b, y is equal to negative 4. That's this line here. Regardless of what the x coordinate is, y is always equal to negative 4. Maybe you want to pause the video here and try the rest for yourself and then see what I get and you can compare your answers to mine. So part C might be a tricky one. You can just about see it. it's actually on the y-axis. If I choose a random point here, 0, 0,5, you can see that the x-coordinate is 0. So if we choose another random point, uh, 0, minus 3, you can see that x is 0. So at any point on this line, x is always equal to 0. So I'll put up the answers for D, E, and F, and you can just confirm if you've got yours correct. Just make sure you remember that the gradient of a vertical line is undefined, and the gradient of a horizontal line is zero. If you need any more help on coordinate geometry, make sure you watch my playlist where I talk about gradient, equation of a straight line, linear relationships, and so on. I'll see you in the next one. 